Hey, what's up guys? Malcolm Patton Fishing here, coming at you with another video. Today, we are gonna be on Wheeler Lake, here where I live. You can notice the water here. That's where it is right now, the water line. And it's normally all the way up there. And you can even tell the difference in the rocks. It's normally higher even on the rocks. That means that they pull the water down a pretty good bit. And what I do for every winter, and I haven't got a chance to do yet, is I go look in the back of these coves and stuff for lures, anything that has uh, stayed up in all the brush and stuff. So let's go see what we can find. All right, so we're coming across the first tree here. You can see how cold it's been with all the ice still all over this tree. The wind has been a billion miles an hour for the past two days, so I haven't come out here because it's been so freezing cold. Oh, I already see the first one. Boom, looks like a little spook. We'll see what it is. All right, looks like we got a little spook here. It's, uh, I don't know how they lost it. Wow, hold on. Rocks are all frozen. Interesting little setup they got here. So they have a spook giant like six out hook not sure what these people were thinking i'll take it put some hooks on it be good as new ship's having a little trouble here walking <laughs> i don't think she likes the ice too much oh we got another one it's kind of hard to see let's see what it is somehow this dude get wedged under the water, but we got us a uh, new rattle trap. Put him in the collection. Good deal. I don't know if you can see, but that right there, yeah, you can definitely see it. It's a film of ice on almost all the rocks. I'll get to the very end to get to the cove I was gonna hunt. So uh, I might end up going up there to get to my destination, but we're gonna try this first. All right, I've managed to climb from down there. And I'm up here now, it's pretty steep. I think we'll make it, this will be interesting. Man, this bank is steep. We're getting there. We peaked the hill and the sun is shining over. We made it from all the way down there to up here. I know this bank, there's a lot of people that fish it, including myself. It's gonna be probably some lures down here, so let's go check it out. Oh, too bad. There is the cove, first cove we are searching for back there. Uh, oh, boom. A pop R. I don't know how it ended up on the bottom here. But boom, there we go. Got us a pop R. This is a yellow magic magnum, which, if I'm not mistaken, this is a pretty expensive pop R. And it still has the hooks on and everything. Anyways, we lucked out and found, found a nice one here, so let's see what we can find back here. There's a little, little bobber here. No, kind of lures we're looking for, but hey, we'll take it. This is what we consider a, uh, a massacre of a thread fin shad. <laughs> They're everywhere. All right, well, not a lure, but I'll take a life jacket. Thank you. See all the buckles on it? <laughs> Wash it up. Good deal. Got a brand new life jacket. Oh. Aha. We got another one. Ooh, let's see what we got here. A little spinner bait. All right. Bass. Bass Pro Shops. Okay. Got us a little Bass Pro Shop spinner bait. Sweet. Putting. That one in my pocket. See another one. Oh, this is a strike king right here. I can tell by the color. A uh, very old strike king. But this would have been a good one if it was uh, in better condition. Would have been a $7 spinner bait. Oh well, good find. Well, I came upon this bucket, and you might not be able to read it, but it says, You can refill Frank. So, uh, Frank, if you're out there, you can refill that bucket right there. Frank, there's you another bucket. 
Well, it's real dark. Let's see if I can get it from being so dark here. Uh, yeah, there you go. Get another little lure on our hands. A little spinner bait. Let's see. Let's see what kind it is. Normally, I find all the lures back in the uh, back in the coves back there, but for some reason, I didn't find them on these rocks. Let's see. Oh, that's a booyah. Hey, that's still good. Oh, except for the hook is gone, but still has the blades on it. Might be able to use those, so. Third one of the day. We found another one, boys. I don't know what kind it is, let's check it out. All right. Oh man, this is a good one. RC2 is what it says. I don't know what company makes that, I forgot, but uh, brand new chartreuse and blue, one of my favorite colors. It's as new as can be, it's a good deal. back home after our little uh, lure hunting stuff finding adventure to sum up this video what I'm gonna do is kind of just go through some of the stuff I found and uh, we'll close it out there all right guys now to find out what all this stuff was worth if it's worth anything and uh, what we're gonna do with it all right so I'm gonna go from worst to best as far as like quality and all that Worst would probably be this little Strike King spinner bait right here. Would have been an awesome one, but it has no hook, no blade. It's all rusted and stuff, so not much value there. What we do with all our old lures is either put them on a tree for Christmas ornaments, or we put them in a box and save for later to like hang up on like driftwood and stuff, and they look pretty cool when it's all said and done. Next would be the other spinner bait, and it would be a decent little one, but it doesn't have a hook, and it's super rusted up as well. Then the third spinner bait, which also would have been good one, so it has blades and everything, just no hook. So just old rusty, rusty gems now. Next is the rattle trap. He's been beat to death and back, but uh, it'll look cool hanging up on a piece of wood or something. <laughs> then there is this crazy little thing we found. Spooks are worth about seven bucks, and this looks to be like actual spook, and it has rattles and everything. I still don't have no idea what this little setup is, so let me know if y'all have any idea what this is. Now, into the good stuff. So first will be this, the RC2 crankbait, and I looked it up, it's made by Lucky Strike, and it's about a $7 crankbait, super awesome, $7 find right here. This popper right here, the Yellow Magic Magnum, this bad boy is $17.99 on Tackle Warehouse, so we found a brand new $18 pop bar hey no complaints here that's awesome the most expensive thing believe it or not was this thing right here not a lure but I'll take a life jacket see how the book was on it <laughs> wash it up good deal now that might look like just an ordinary life jacket but it was called like cooney or coonley or something i looked them up and they're like 50 bucks but there's no holes no buckles broken so a pressure washer will clean that thing perfectly up It'll be an awesome new life jacket. So hey, let me know if you enjoyed this video. This was one of my favorite ones to make. I always love doing this every winter and this is the first time I've actually got a video of me finding stuff. Uh, so let me know if you enjoyed it in the comment section below. Of course, let me know if you know what this thing is and I'll see you on another episode of Malcolm Patton Fishing. I'll see you next time.